What's going on? It's Kelsey Eleven back, and this is Kingdom Hearts HD Remix, and uh, we are hanging out in Traverse Town. And what sucks about this game is you can't pause this game here anywhere that I can find where it actually pauses the clock. Look at my clock. This is actually the fourth video, and so after the third video, which I already did, but I haven't posted at this time, I had to go do something, and I paused the game because I didn't save. I wasn't at a save point. It's been like almost seven hours, and so my clock always gets goofy in games like this because a lot of times I leave them running. So I have no idea how long it's going to take me to actually play this game now. It's add seven hours to it, apparently. Okay, where does this take us? We got the treasure chest on top. I'm trying to remember where everything's at. I'm, I'm going to miss so much stuff, but. Oh, this is that door, right? Okay. Come on! Come on, man. That is a cool move. I, I never remember ever having that move. Ever. When I play this game. So I have no idea when you get it normally. Okay, so we came through this door. There's really nowhere to go. Um, From the way we came. I know we can... Can we get up on top? Oh, with the ladder we can get up on top. Oh, we need to head to the third district. That's where we need to head to. I wish they put the flow motion in from the dream drop distance of if we ever play that game. Okay, I can't hit anything. The dream drop distance, the flow motion is awesome. You can like jump on walls and then um, jump off walls all the time and do these crazy moves to kill guys. It's very cool. You basically fly around the screen. And now that I'm playing this, I wish that I like, somehow added that in. Okay, so we head this way. The other way was the Dalmatian house, right? Yeah. So this is the third district. So as you get that first hit in on these guys, you get the triple combo. And that triple combo just kills them, basically. I don't know if there's any other chests in this area right here. I don't think we can get up. Like I said, I'm mixing this up with uh, Dream Drop too because you can go up on top of these buildings on that and there's items. I don't know if we can get all the way on top like you can in that game. I don't think you can. Damn it. Come on! Just keep blocking me. They're not really hurting me because I keep getting health um, from the drops, but they do block a lot. Give me my money. So here's the vacant house. Can we go in here yet? Okay. I don't think there's anything going on in here. I'm actually dreading when we go to Wonderland. I hate Wonderland in this game. There's a little uh, Lady in the Tramp thing there. Yeah, Wonderland, I'm not excited to go to. Because it's confusing as hell, and it's been so long since I really played it that I know I'm going to just be running around forever in that place. That's the first world I'm pretty sure that we go to, if I remember correctly. We need fire eating on that door. Oh, <laughs> 
Nothing here yet? Really? Oh, you know, I think I remember now. Kinda. I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is where you meet Donald and everybody, but we actually have to do something. I guess we have to do something else first. Can we go through here? No. Can we use this? It's locked. There's no other way out of here. We gotta go all the way back through, huh? God darn it. There's no other way out of here, really. Besides... That one door, which is locked, but I think that door takes you back to the first district, but not yet, obviously, because it's locked, so... Let's do something first. This is it! We are at least in some XP here. I think you might have to go all the way to the third district actually and then go back to the first district to meet uh, somebody once you get back. I don't know if you have to go all the way to third. Maybe you could have just went from second to third. I can't wait till we get our uh, some of that treasure magnet so these things come a little closer to us. Even though I don't always wear them because I'd rather wear some of the skills. You usually can put them on. Donald, just to make collecting the stuff a little easier, kind of acts like you just you have to face close to it to get it. Makes it a little go a little faster. But now they're fighting out here. They weren't out here before. I know we can open this chest before we leave here, but I guess we have to wait until we still get a little farther in the game here, so... Uh, postcards we didn't mail yet. Third postcard, Mega Potion. Okay, I just won, I guess. Do we head back to Sid? Maybe we head back to Sid. He did tell us to talk to him, I think, if we need help. Definitely not uh, figuring out where to go. Take another look around town. Thanks, dude. Really? That's all the help you can give me? Oh, there we go. Music change. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Never Major mind. Punk. 
Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. All right. Then have it your way. So that is Squall from Final Fantasy VIII, of course. For those of you who are Final Fantasy people, and you just beat the crap out of me in some way. This set thing is going to be a pretty tough fight, if I remember. I think this is kind of like the Riku fight, where you want to kind of hit him when you can. Don't, like, be overzealous. Get around his fire, combo him up. But I think he can mess you up pretty bad. You probably want to fight him in the open here. You don't have to win this fight, I don't think, but if you... Oh, shit. But if you win it, you actually get an item later on, I believe. Oh, it actually stuns him. Oh, boy, what you got? Oh, shit. Okay, now I'm getting cocky. I'm actually going to use my item. I almost didn't even make it. Because I want to beat him. I want to see what item he get. I think it's a pretty good one. Just potions, I'll find enough of them. The best time to hit him actually is when he does that fire spell. For those, I think you want to go one hit maybe. Because if you try to combo him, I think he, he ends up getting you. When he casts that fire, if you get around his back, you can get him a three hit combo. Like this, if you get around it, you can three hit combo him up. Otherwise, I wouldn't take too many chances, because, see, after that first hit, you can see he recovers fast. Being that I took magic, I'm not as strong off with the sword. I need some spells. This is getting crazy. I still haven't leveled up enough to get a spell. I'm getting hurt here, too. Yeah, right there, see, you just punished me. Come on down here, man. Come on. 30, and plus you get 30 experience points for it. Oh, you're slipping, Leon. And there is Yuffie. Final Fantasy VII. Went easy on him. Looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. What is this? Oh, this must be Final Mix stuff. I don't remember seeing this. I've never seen this before. I've never seen that cutscene ever in my life, so that's definitely a final mix thing that we've not seen. Or I'm sure people have seen it, obviously, but not me. Yeah, it always cuts Gosh, right here. There's nobody here. Sure is spooky. So that just shows where he ended up. Excuse of course, me. Did the king send you? There's Ares. If you, if you need to know who Ares is, you need to, or Aerith Ares, you need to, uh, Come on, lazy bum. Wake catch up. up on your RPGs, old school RPGs. Uh, uh, you 
okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. The Keyblade. Yeah. We had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. It was the only way to conceal your heart from them. But it won't work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge! Oh, uh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered? Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find them quick. Red! Crush me, Ninja King! That's right. The Keyblade. So... This is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the Keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The Keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute. What happened to my home? My island? Riku! Kyrie. You know what? I really don't know. You think he'd be like, Mom, Dad. So he never I don't know if he ever mentions his mother or his father in this game. You know he's got a mom at least because she called him to dinner when he jumped out the window to check on the raft. So you know that he's got one. But he never seems to give a crap. <laughs> Maybe he does. I can't remember if he mentions him. I said it's been so long I don't remember anything. So we need to talk to her I think before we actually can open that chest. She says how it opens locks. Or a door lock, so now we can open that one door in the third district to the first district. So we get an elixir there, which should completely heal us if I remember correctly. Yeah. And we have six potions. So you you have to actually um, put your items in this, uh, actually equip items to the characters here, and then you actually use the items on the right, the ones that you equipped. That in a fight, you can't go to the start menu, so if you run out of them, you're screwed, basically. Now I think, if I remember correctly, that we can jump up here and hit this and change the time. And one of these times, well, actually, it made a noise, but yeah, you keep doing it. One of the times, give you a item. And I think it's actually seven for some reason. My lucky number, my favorite, my lucky number is seven. And I think I was like, oh wow. 
There it is. Yeah, it's seven. And it, yeah, it's right there. And you get a mithril, which is actually, if I remember, I'm gonna be saying that a lot. A pretty rare ore, yeah. A pretty rare synthesis ore that we can't quite use yet, but we will be able to someday. Think of this as an adventure. Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You best prepare yourself. Calls her Yuffie. I'm like Yuffie. Yuffie. Did they call her Yuffie? No, I call her Yuffie. Sora, let's go. There you go. They're right in the next room the whole time too. I don't know what that means, find the leader. I don't know if you kill one person, if anything else changes. I try to, I just kill them all. I try to. I, I can't tell if there's a leader or not. I've always been kind of confused about what he says there. Unless you can just kill one of them and they all disappear? I don't think so. But, maybe. Damn, these guys are pounding me. There we go, max HP up. I haven't learned a damn spell yet. Pretty sure you learn them as you level. Like, you know, fire or whatever. Oh, maybe that's got to... Oh, you know what? I haven't unlocked my magic. I think I have to unlock my magic. No, because you need fire to get to the door to see the wizard dude. I think... Ah, flat, who knows. Right, I think we can go in this other room now. The room that they were in. I realize people would be up there. Potion. That guy just blocks everything, I swear. What's the room we went in? We were in the blue room, I think. Come on. I don't worry about that dude. Can we go in here? Oh no, we can't. Oh, we were in the green room. Come on. I think there's a chest in that red room. The one that Mickey and Goofy were in. With uh, Ares, so that's why I came back in here and grabbed it. Pretty sure there is. I think you go through... Here. Especially good in it. Pretty stone. That's not bad. We sell it for some cash. Cash. In case you haven't noticed, this game has a shitload of fighting. Damn it. 
I see the money's a little bigger on those guys at times, meaning you get a little bit more than the small ones. You, know, you pretty much always get small ones with these guys. So that's pretty much all you've been getting. Nothing going on in the Dalmatian house here. I don't like to run from fights, as you can probably have told, as you can tell, because I want to level my guy as much as I can. The only fights I almost ever have ever, ever run in a game in an RPG is when you have to. Like, you know, sometimes there's like a story related element to run from a fight. Or you have to lose the fight, you know. Other than that, I'm gonna kill everything I see. I'm gonna try not to go out of my way to get in fights, but as I run through these areas, if guys pop up, they always pop up here. I'm gonna try. Should've get that third hit in, we probably would've killed him. I think we can head to the third district now. And meet up with our boys. We were there earlier, but we couldn't meet up with them. There. That's good stuff. Catch still come in. How do you get out of that first one? He's stunned. Oh, jeez. They don't stop coming here, do they? So we're gonna get to the third district, which is this way, I think. Oh, no, wait, we're. Yeah. We came out of the uh, alleyway. So which they start spawning those big freaking round dudes. They're annoying to kill. Can we hit them in the back and they come up and they kick your crap out of you if they hit you? There we go. Oh, I guess not. The music changed. Oh, okay. There we go. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Oh, oh, oh. So you see the way Sora runs, I believe from what I read, or I watched a preview of this game, um, somewhere, GameStop, GameSpot maybe, they're, run, they're playing, showing it off, 
that they lost the character models of the original Kingdom Hearts, and I think he's kind of based off of the, I think the characters are based off of the Dream Drop Distance ones a little bit. I'm pretty sure that that happened. The environments are similar, but for some reason I think that, that the characters had to kind of be brought in. I don't, I don't remember him holding a keyblade like that. Well, I could be wrong, but maybe he did. But I think the character was supposed to have been done from a different... I think it was from Dream Drop, they said. I'd have to check that on that, though, to make sure. So this is pretty much a, well, a first boss fight, kind of. Probably better actually go after his arms first. But I was going after his legs, so I guess I'm sick of it. Eventually, I think you'll start breaking them apart. And they're supposed to be helping. They're not the best fighters in the world. They're not bad, but if I remember right, they burn through their MP like crazy. Donald does and Goofy. I got healed though, from well, Maybe I should be going for those. I thought man, maybe you should go for the hands first. I don't think it really mattered. Each individual piece, part of them, there we go, has hit points. And usually, at this point in the game, because I usually pick the, the different route I pick in the beginning, I think I usually have scan by now, which basically shows enemy HP that you have targeted, so you can see how many hit points each body part has. Right now, I don't have it. I don't have nothing except for that one. Move. Somehow, I always I usually get scan first. I'm trying to remember how I start the game. With that. But it's, it's a useful skill because you know how many hit points things have. But it's not that important because you're still going to beat the crap out of it anyway. But it's nice just to know. Boom! Learn Treasure Magnet, HP up for Mickey, or for Donald, sorry, and something else for Goofy. And we got something else. So we finally got a new skill, at least. Treasure Magnet isn't offensive. It basically lets you uh, be able to collect money and, and the health drops and everything from farther away. Kind of makes you like magnetized to them. And we got Brave Warrior. Nice. So, you were looking for me? Mm -hmm. They, too, have been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows? But we need them to come with us to help us find the king. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Yeah, I guess. But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Ooh. No friend, no side friends, okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. This boat runs on happy faces. Happy? <laughs> That's one funny face. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Donald Name's Goofy. I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. All right, sweet. Got our clan. That 
little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? Ha ha ha! That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat's friends are the king's lackeys. Swung on the ice, they're all built traps by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> boogie boogie. Shut up! Enough! The Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Ugh. I think you get this Leon item if you beat him in that fight, you the elixir. Which we did. There we go. Dad, we got fire now. Maybe that's the for maybe that's the first time you get it. I guess I thought you got it sooner. Okay, select magic, cast spells. Okay, I guess so. Ooh, and we learned dodge roll. Nice. Alright, so we are ready to get on the move here. We have magic, finally we got fire. Uh, let's see, we, go to, we have a journal as well, a Jimmy Cricket. So we can read about the story that we've been going through so far. We can read about all the characters in the game. Uh, some of the cool stuff that I like though is that they tell you, Sora, not, of course not. Okay, then Sora is voiced by Haley Joel Osment, in case nobody knew that. Uh, who was the kid in The Sixth Sense with Bruce Willis. That's who actually voices him. I'm not sure who voices any of the other people. But the ones like Mickey, it'll tell you where he made his debut in Steamboat Willie in 1928. I think that's kind of cool. Donald in The Wise Little Hen in 1934. So with the, the Disney characters, you get to actually see when they... the first thing they were ever in, and... Um, the year, and then of course all the Final Fantasy characters tell you what Final Fantasy they're from. They don't tell you the year though, which I wish they kind of would have. Mental, many Final Fantasies. Characters 2, Pinocchio 940 is another thing, and then the Heartless is a way to check out all the enemies in the game that we'll be fighting. It tells you how many, we've defeated 235 of these guys already. 35 soldiers. And I guess it tells the bosses too. Dark side is the big guy, and then guard armor we just fought. Okay, so anyway. That's how the journal works. Uh, let's go to customize and Sora. Which what is the shortcut menu? Oh, that's just what it is. Okay, L1 plus square we okay. And then for these guys we can actually have them switch their Donald and Goofy, we can have them switch how they fight. It, doesn't, it seems like any way I do it, they burn through their MP, and if I put it to where they can't, they don't use MP a lot, then they end up dying. So I just let them burn through it for now. 
So let's see, Goofy's got Rocket, you can leap up and attack with his shield. And Sora has got Dodge Roll and Treasure Magnet. But we have to take one stun away to get Treasure Magnet going. Dodge Roll is pretty, I think, more important than Treasure Magnet. If we get enough, eventually we'll use it. Uh, do we have any other equipment? We have Brave Warrior now. Um, let's give that to... Gives us a strength and hit points. Just Sora. And who has the least amount? He's got five, and Goofy's got nine defense. So we'll give the protect chain, protect chain to Donald, up his D, and we're pretty good to go here. Gummy ship, I'm not going to really mess with any gummy ship stuff, because I just kind of want to get through it as fast as possible. That's the one part of the game I don't enjoy. Okay, I guess we're going to stop here. Um, I think we did unlock the Trinity ability. Actually, let's check this one out first. It's a tree mark. In many places, only blue ones react in the beginning. So, if, as you continue in the story, you will be able to unlock other ones. So this one, you see it says... Trinity over there. It's triangle. That's actually different. It used to say it on the bottom. This one gives you money. Some eventually open up new areas where treasure's at. Usually, there's a lot of different ways, things that you get from these. So that's the money one, and it can only be used once. Okay, so I guess we are going to stop here. I know this has been a long video. All my videos end up being long, but this is a good place I need to, to chill out. So, alright, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you in the next one.